Hey guys, it's me, the traveler here. I don't know if I have allergies or if I'm getting sick. I don't know. <clears throat> but I'm going to make this video anyway, so bear with me. All right, guys, so today we're going to talk about intentional nursing. What is intentional nursing, you may ask? It's something I made up. <laughs> so to me, intentional nursing is nursing intentionally. So what does it mean to nurse intentionally? It's pretty much doing nursing to benefit you in your long run. So I'll use an example. I have friends who want to get into CRNA school, certified registered nurse anesthetist. In order to get into that school, you usually need about two years of ICU experience. Some programs are different, all that stuff. Well, if you know you want to be a CRNA, when you get out of nursing school, instead of taking whatever random job and cardiac and med surge, take an ICU job. I know when we first graduate, sometimes we're desperate to just get a job, but be more intentional. That way you don't waste time. Because what happens is you get that med surge job, you work there for a year, and then you switch to ICU. So then you're a nurse for three years or four years before you can get into CRNA school, as opposed to have just doing nursing for two years in ICU from the beginning. So just being more intentional about the direction that you want to go. Many times I say, you figure out what you want by learning what you don't want. So you might work on like cardiac telemetry. You may not know where you want to work, but when you work cardiac telemetry, you're like, I know that I don't want to work this, or I know that I don't want to work OB. So you, if you don't know what you want to do, it's okay. Figure out what you want to do by first figuring out what you don't want to do. That's how it happened for me. So I get many questions about, is it possible to go to school while doing travel nursing? And the answer is definitely yes. I know many travel nurses myself who travel and they're in school doing their master's or doctorate. It's the same thing. If you were at home doing your doctorate or at home doing your master's, you would still be working full time and still coming home and doing those classes anyway. So it's the same concept, it's the same thing. The only time where you'd bump into uh, speed bump is towards the end of your schooling when you need to get those practicum hours you probably have to go home or stay in one area so that you can get those clinical or practicum hours that you need but as far as doing online school that is the beauty of having school online beautiful because you can do it anywhere it's super convenient and it is very intentional with your nursing because while you're finishing up school for whatever you're trying to do whether it's your bachelor's whether it's your master's whether it's whatever while you're doing that, you're getting more nursing experience. You're getting to travel, you're getting to, you know, so it's actually a win-win, especially when some people, they are doing an advanced degree to get out of the clinical setting in a sense. So if you're doing your advanced degree to do administration or to do, you know, nurse practitioner or whatever, and you're not gonna be like on the floor anymore per se, this is your last opportunity to be a floor nurse before you get your degree. So why not end it with the bang, do traveling? Most times when people get their advanced degree, they leave the floor and then they never really come back. So end your last few years, two years or whatever, how long your school program is, end it with the bang by traveling out the last few months and going to school. It is very doable, for sure. So say you want to do nursing administration in your future. You would probably want or you'd probably benefit the best if you stayed at a hospital and then became like a charge nurse and stuff like that to get leadership experience. Say you wanted to be, uh, you know, get your master's and teach nursing. Maybe you'd want to, you know, work on the floor first and then become an educator for your unit while you're working on your master's. This is what I call intentional nursing. Being intentional, becoming an educator if you want to do education. Doing leadership roles if you want to do leadership. You know, working in independent-minded areas if you want to be a nurse practitioner and have your own practice. I personally believe if you're a nurse practitioner and you want to open your own practice in the long run, it'll be great to work in an uh, emergency room um, or ICU. Emergency room is very applicable because when you're, uh, when you're in the emergency room, which I'll make a video about the ER in the future, but you have so much autonomy as a nurse. So you get to critically think on your own and come up with your own like plan of care in a sense, similar to what you'll be doing when you become a practitioner and you get to see all different types of illnesses. So just being intentional, working in the right area so that you don't waste time and so that the experience that you do get counts to what you're trying to do in the long run. 
little story from my personal experience. I come from a Caribbean home, so they're really huge on education. So when I got my bachelor's, they were like, you gotta go back to school for your master's. And I'm like, pause. Like, can I work real quick? No. So I started working and um, I joined, I started doing my master's. And I realized, like, I don't wanna do my master's in nursing. Heck, I don't even know if I wanna be a nurse. Cause at this rate, I was not liking at all, which this will come more in depth in another testimony. But um, you know, I never wanted to be a nurse. I thought it would get better. I did not like it. Um, you know, it was a bad time for me. So I dropped out of the master's program because I was like, this is not, I don't even know, I don't have any goals. Like I don't even know that I want to be a nurse come next year. So um, I dropped that master's program and I just kind of started figuring it out. I did not nurse intentionally, but that worked for me because I didn't have a plan. I never wanted to be a nurse and I had to try to find my niche. I worked, you know, like I've worked on oncology. I've worked in the OR. I've worked in cardiac. I've seen BMT. You know, it's like I've had to go all these different places to try to figure out. So I finally landed in the emergency room and I was like, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Yes. So I love the ER and I've been there for over three years, which to me is like, that's long for me. So sometimes you don't know what you want to be. You don't, what, you don't know what you want to do. You may not know how intentional, but don't get discouraged by it. It is completely okay to be confused and not know. Time plays it out. I was able to find my strengths, find my weaknesses, and just kind of figure out which direction to go in. And now I know which direction I'm going in. So some people can be intentional from the beginning and some people you become intentional as you go along your journey. All right guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching even though my voice is sounding crazy right now. I hope I didn't annoy you too much. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss the next one. See you later guys.